Hey everybody, Pilgrim Farmer here. Well, I haven't been doing any farming at all this year. Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of building this year. You can call me Pilgrim Builder this year. No farming whatsoever that I'm doing myself. However, not to say that farming ain't being done on the property. We are here in a peanut field. And some of you were probably offended at the title of this and this thing. Oh, well, of course peanuts don't grow on trees. Well, that's actually a question we get quite a bit. You'll show someone a field like this, and they'll say, for who's from other parts of the country, and they'll say, hey, uh, what's that? I say, well, that's a peanut field. I say, peanuts, I thought they grew on trees. I said, no, 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 they grow in the ground. And here's a way up this huge washout right here, which gives us a unique opportunity to see exactly how they do grow. Here, I just dug these out here. Let me get the shovel in there a little more. And just happen to find a shovel out here, isn't that convenient? Alrighty. Well, there we go. You see how they're not that far down. Now, these are still very young and they're not ready to be picked yet. And the greens on top are usually a lot taller than this. However, uh, every night the deer come through here and munch them, jump, 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 munch them right back down. They just go up and down the rows feasting um, on these. And you can see the tap root comes down about that far on these. But the peanuts are fairly close to the top. That's a pretty good return, considering they just planted about one of those, and look how many you get in return. Here's another another open row here. Could you see the washout? Those look fairly healthy. Look fairly healthy. Um, now speaking of the deer, you see the corn spilt on the ground here. Yes, uh, baiting of deer is legal in Georgia. Someone has put corn down there. But as you can see, the uh, big deer tracks walking right through the corn and they're completely ignoring it, not paying it any mind. Why should they bother with corn spilled on the ground when there's acres of fresh uh, food for them to eat? Now we've got a harvester working on another field where the peanuts are ready to be harvested. Let's take a look at it. Okay, that machine we just saw is called an inverter and its job is to invert the peanuts like we see here pull them out of the ground flip them over upside down and set them back down and then the sun which we see up there shining bright tonight in georgia the sun and the wind will dry the nuts out um, and then another machine will come by later uh, separate the peanut itself from the plant the peanuts go into a big wagon and um, the greens themselves they'll stay they'll fall back on the ground another machine will come by bale these up into huge round bales and you can use them for animal feed primarily is what they use them for uh, but he's got one row done in this field here and he's got oh he's got a lot of work to do one of the best things about the peanut plant is that it will grow just about anywhere. Look at this ground here. I mean, this dirt is better suited for growing pottery than peanuts, but yet it still grows. Various parts of Africa and China, where people are um, hungry and starving. The peanut is a fantastic source of protein for them. That's all I got to say about the peanut. But anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you learned something. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Hey, it was worth it to listen to me babble for a little bit anyways. I'm up here giving you the panoramic view from my luxury deer stand. And uh, I haven't been in this deer stand in a couple of, well, actually it's been a whole about a year. A little nervous about what's in here. Oh, maybe you like um, black widow spider, perhaps. Uh, typically, it's scorpions in here. Oh well. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye.